was written here. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. Okay. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Okay, so... There's got to be seven total. Blue has to start. Okay. Good. Uh, and it's got to be three after, right? So... Oh, hold on. First condition. All seven reagents should be used. Right. Second condition. Orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third okay. condition. Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. So, oh dear. So I have to use a colorless after the orange. So, let's see. Makes sense to put the green in. The third one, right? Col yeah. So orange has to be three. Okay. Now we can use a colorless. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Damn. So I did something wrong. Well, what the fuck did I do wrong? See, the way the recipe goes... First condition. All seven reagent. Second condition. Orange. Orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, okay. colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Okay, so it's gotta be, oh, you know what? It could be blue, blue. That, that's possible, let's try that. Let's try blue. Blue, blue. One, two. That makes sense. So now it's blue, blue, green. Orange. No. Yes, orange. Colorless. And then yeah, alternate the two. So colorless, orange, colorless. Because now there's a second blue. No, something no, isn't fuck. right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning. God again. damn it. What could it be then? All right, let me try this. I have another I have another option. Okay. Blue first. We'll do green second. Then we'll do another blue. Then we'll do orange. Colorless, orange, colorless. Let's try this. Come on, baby. 
It makes sense. It makes sense because because of the green, I started another blue. Yes, we did it. Perfect. That's how you do, son. Make that ink. Done. Now I can proceed further. Sweet. Let us see if the content of this letter sheds a little light upon the mystery. did as you asked and hid them well. Interesting. How would Hurtley react to this? But I beg you to reconsider. Ion, I sw and I remember our vows. I've done nothing dishonorable for which you, me. Alright, so now we have to go back to Scotland Yard and talk to Hurtley and be like, Bish, we know what you did. I got this on you. You the gardener. You the gardener. That stuff said you you the gun! <laughs> the garden killing of eighteen ninety-five. This gardener be OCD, so he's very perfect with how he plants, so he's very perfect. I find it ironic that this very, very perfect man of garden can't keep his story straight. The fuck, mush? Oh, no one in here. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. I love how close you are to him. Please escort this suspect. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? The letter. I did as you asked, and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible! A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? Bullshit. I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. That's all for now. Oh my goodness. So what shall we do? Let's see. Is, he, is it evidence? Is there any evidence on it? We do have the boot. I'm wondering if we should go back to... Uh... I'm not saying another word. Fuck. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'm going to head over to the Woodman's Lee again, and we're going to see if the boot fits. And he said, like, if he's the gardener, we can check his tools. Maybe he's that tool, that shed, that's got to be the tool shed. It makes so much sense. More or less. Quite. All right, so... I'm going to check the boot print first. See, look, it's green. It makes so much sense. These Perfect. Boots match the footprints exactly. Well, we solved that. Gonna add a whole new sequence. Liam Hurtley's boots matched the footprints at Woodman's Lee. That's proving he was there. There was a gardener. Maybe we ought to talk to her again.
Cause like the boots were green, but I want to see if you can check his tools. Yes. Locked. I'll have to talk to her. Why did you lie, madam? Cause I've been fucking him on the side. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. She's lying. She's fucking lying. Thank you, madam. Dude, she's lying. Locked. Is there anything we can do about this? Can we go around back, maybe? Invisible walls, bro! One second. Who could do such a thing? Damn, okay. My poor husband. Damn it! I'm gonna inspect a little further. It's gotta be something we're not, we're not seeing. Not seen any tools yet. I guarantee you, there's got to be like... If only we could ask the dead man, <laughs> life would be a lot simpler. I don't know if I need to do anything. Let's go back to the yard real quick. See if I can talk to him again about him being there. Is there any more deductions? Something's got to connect this. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Let's ask him about his presence there. We know you were there, amigo. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Bullshit. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. He was still there. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Working. You're the fucking gardener. Oh shit, no, it's uh... I guess it'd be the, the gardener then. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? Fuck, can I skip this? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Alright, well, you're the gardener. Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird 
embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. There, I must now I examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. So now I can get in there. Should be no problem this time. I mean, I would have just searched that bitch to begin with to get whatever evidence we could we could obtain. Wonder how close I am getting to cracking this bitch. Okay. It's a very nice kept garden. But why would she lie about it? Is she that unobservant? Locked. Locked. <laughs> I'll talk to her then. She's a liar, man. I don't appreciate being lied to. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Knew it. Thank you, madam. Oh, a scythe. There's a Let's lot of see stuff. What could be hidden here? Look at this. I'll bet you it's under here. Aha! There it is. Can I get into it? Let us see what is in this box. Um, hold on. What? No, stop. It just matches perfectly. Yo, I did it. What are you doing? Let me try something. Okay, I see. Alrighty. So that's connected. Got it. Nice. Cool. That's when you just break the bitch. In a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. That is interesting. Uh-oh. 
Liam, my dear, you have been so good to me all the time that I have known you. I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose that they are sinful and no good can come from them. I fear what might happen. I fear going against God. I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man whom I've been with bound by God. He fucking murdered him. That Liam Hurtley guy murdered him because of this. I'll bet you anything. It is his divine will, and thus my husband is the cross that I must bear. He makes my life a living hell, but bruises fade, and you must not worry for me. So he it was probably in the like I mean, the, the um what's his nuts? Black Peter was a dick. There's no question in that. Black Peter was a dick. But he did it. I know he did it, so he could be with her. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Bitch, please, don't lie. Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I... I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him, not after what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... after what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. <laughs> and Holmes just doesn't give a fuck. He's just like, no. That. Dude. Ah, this one. Desperate jealousy. Liam Hurtley loved Judith Carey so desperately that his jealousy could have provoked him. It's very possible. Hurtley is... The possibility. Okay. So he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's my guess. Alright, so let's head on back to... Uh, Baker Street, and we'll see if what Wiggins has uh, figured out. I gotta remember if I'm going somewhere, open the de deduction stuff while I'm waiting. You know what I mean? That way we can cut back on the loading screens. Solid gold, it's gold, it's gold, it's gold, it's gold, it's solid gold, baby. Ha <laughs> Go, baby, so solid. Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. Hugh Pattons, James Lancaster, Patrick Cairns, Raul... Rolf Talbot, Sailor John, your cook. He died a week ago. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. This man is a harpooner, and his oh, initials are P.C. Dirt. The same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. Ah, that makes sense, which is why he'd be so good at doing it. So maybe he Wiggins. got... Could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. We Skip found that. Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. Gotta get that payment. New possibility. 
Patrick Cairns. I don't think any of these are going to match. Maybe they are, actually. If the pouch belongs to... It, is, it indicates his presence to the crime scene, but it still must be proven. So we got to get over there. 